morning we're going to have a final prayer. And uh, the chorus that we're going to sing this morning is Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, the fool in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. And that's what we have to do in our world today, is to turn our eyes upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And not look at man or any person, but to turn our eyes heavenward to the Lord Jesus Christ. And there you will find out and strength and grace. And his mercy, the Bible says, endures forever. And so the word of God says, so every day we need to turn our eyes upon Jesus and to look fully into his wonderful face. I have never seen the face of the Lord Jesus Christ, but I'm only one day that when I when I step into heaven, that I will see Jesus face to face and then tell the story saved by grace. What a wonderful day. I'm looking forward to that day when I meet Jesus Christ and all my loved ones that's gone on before me. My mom, my brother-in-law, and everyone else that died and gone to heaven. One day I'm going to meet Jesus Christ and sit down and the marriage supper of the Lamb of God, and to enjoy a sweet fellowship of joy, enjoying fellowship and worship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's sing that chorus a couple of times together, please, and then we will have a time of prayer. Hey. Maker of heaven and earth. 
And Jesus, in your word, as thou hast also said, God is our refuge and strength, and ever present help in times of trouble. And Lord, throughout that psalm, you said, Be still, and know that I am God. And Father, this morning, as we bow in your presence, I pray, Jesus, this morning, for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will draw near to them this morning through the inspiration and power of your Holy Spirit. I pray, Jesus, that you give them comfort and strength this very day. And Father, this morning, Lord, while we go about our daily business, Lord, in our world, there are so many this morning, Jesus, who are in need. And this morning, Lord, we look to other parts of the world. We look to the country of the Philippines. Lord, where so many hungry children are going without food and no clothes to wear. While we live in a part of the world where we are so much and still we're complaining. Father, help us. Remind us by your Holy Spirit how blessed we are to live in such a part of the world in Newfoundland and Labrador. And Father, this morning we pray, Lord, this morning, Jesus, for every man, every woman, every young person. And if they do not know you as their Lord and as their Savior, and I pray, Heavenly Father, that the sweet, gentle voice of your Holy Spirit will speak to each one this morning, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that they too will come to realization that they need to get you live, live you in your heart and in your life. Father, this morning we pray, Jesus, for this service. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will continue to bless it and he will use it for your glory. Father, continue to be with us, continue to guide us and direct us, and give us strength, Lord, as we continue to live for you. For I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.